Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Do you like this new little setup here? It's just temporary. I'm working on this um, like vanity room that I have. I'm redoing it very slowly, but surely. I know people have been asking for an updated room tour. I'm working on it, I'm just slow. Anyways, I have a thrift haul to share with you today from some estate sales, thrift stores, yard sales, um, some more feminine vintage type stuff. I like to keep these separate from my farmhouse videos just because I feel like they don't go together. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I have like a pile. I'm just going to start grabbing things because um, I just am. So I found these candles. They're vintage Avon candles. It's 1982 on the back. So I guess technically, apparently I heard this, that the 80s and 90s is vintage now, but not antique, obviously. So am I vintage? But I thought these were really cute. Well, the box stood out to me, obviously. I don't know, it's kind of a 60s print to me. And then the brand is Flower Fancy by Avon. And they're just two little candlesticks. Let me pull them out. They're in fair condition. They're not perfect, but they're not burnt. That's what they look like. Have a cute yellow bow, some flowers. I thought these would be cute. Um, I don't know. I guess Easter or spring, maybe in this room, because obviously, if you've been watching my channel, the rest of my home is farmhouse now. So for 25% off of $3.99, so I just like the box. Then I found this adorable little vintage clock. I don't know why I'm saying vintage before everything because this is a vintage haul. This was $5. It's by Ingram USA, and I loved the little flowers and the pink. It was just really shabby chic to me. It does need to be a little cleaned up. It says someone's name, Melissa and Katie. That's really cute. But it's just one of those little pull alarm clocks. I haven't plugged it in yet, so I don't even know if it works. It works! So it does work. That's good. Um, but I thought it'd be cute in this room. I think I want to put it on my actual vanity when I redo everything. And I found two of these glasses. So I love these style of glasses, like this older shape. And then when they have a little design like this, I hauled some a while back with some roses on them or some like pink flowers and those are my favorite glasses that I have. So these were $1.99, I got two of them so I thought these were really cute. Kind of like an 80s, early 90s print. I'm not sure if you can even see. And then I found this at a yard sale for 25 cents and I just mentioned the glasses that I had found before. If you've been watching my hauls for a while, you, may, you might remember them. They have this little flower print on them. So I saw this and she charged me a quarter for it. So, I don't know what it's for, because it's too small to be like a pitcher. So, I don't know what the purpose of this was. Maybe it's just a vase, which I'll probably just use it for flowers. But, yeah, I thought it was cool that I found a little matching piece for my glasses. Next, I found this Laura Ashley. I'm assuming this is a soap dish because of the lines. It's just shaped really weird for a bar of soap, I feel. But, I thought that was cute. If you love Shabby Chic, you should know who Laura Ashley is. I don't know if that's focused. But I got it for 50 cents, like I said, and I thought the print was really pretty. So you could put jewelry in here, so I might use it for that. And then at that same thrift store, she like bundled all my items together. I got this for a dollar. It is a Givenchy. Givenchy. Oh, I know I'm going to butcher the name. I really need to give it a OxyClean bath because she's a little dirty. But it has some lace down here. Definitely worn. Um, but I liked the baby pink color and then the lace trimming. I just thought it was really cute. It's a size medium, so it's a little big. For a dollar, couldn't pass that up. These are bed jackets, by the way. I decided to have like a display of my bed jackets here, but my curtain rod that I have is not strong enough, so I can't put any more on it right now. And then I still have my nightgowns like right here, so she's gonna go on the rack. I have another nightgown that I grabbed at Goodwill, but it's so pretty. Another baby pink one, and I just love the details at the top. I know sometimes people will comment below saying do a try on next time, but I'm just not gonna, I don't want to do a try on for like things that are so see through and small, like no. <laughs> and the brand is Dina Styled in California, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Size small, and I like how the um, straps are like this, I don't know, just a cute little detail. And it goes all the way down, floor length with some more lace at the bottom. I found a beautiful two-piece peignoir, 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 whatever. Reminds me of like a honeymoon or wedding, just this white nightgown. 
and then the ribbon goes all the way down. It is about, yeah, it's floor length, size small. And the robe looks like this. I love the robes almost more than the nightgowns because look at the details. I, I love the elastic around the sleeves, ribbon, lace. I just love them. They're so beautiful. That was a fun find. I haven't been having much luck finding um, vintage nightgowns at Goodwill like I usually do. And you know what my mother said? She said, it's because you're telling everybody where you're getting them. So if you've been watching my videos and you know where I stay, stay in your lane. And then I found this adorable bag of napkin rings. They're these little angels. Here, I'll take one out. Where did I get these? Goodwill. I like these. However, I'm probably not going to use them for myself. So I was thinking about listing them on Etsy. Um, they probably won't sell. But if these are something you're interested in, check my Etsy or eBay. Cute little angel napkin ring holder. And there's like a bow on her head and some floral roses. And there is one, two, three, one, two, three, four of them. How are those cute? It's hard for me to leave stuff behind like that. Maybe I could, oh, this would be cute to display handkerchiefs in maybe if I just had her sitting on a shelf with a hanky hanging out. I'll still list them, but I don't know. We'll see. I found this set of Shelly England Fine Bone China. Uh, I don't know the, oh, the rosebud pattern. This one does have a small chip right here, if you can see. I do have these listed online, but I like them so much, so if they don't sell, that's fine with me. Um, creamer and sugar bowl. They're really beautiful. I found an adorable teacup. It was missing the saucer, but I love this baby blue rose print. It's so pretty to me. Got this for a dollar. The maker is Cherry China, made in Japan. And then I found the matching plate, not saucer, but plate. This was also a dollar. And I just love this baby blue print. I'm going to try to figure out a plate display in here somewhere on the wall or something. And then another teacup saucer plate that was a dollar. These are all from the same thrift store. They have good prices. This is stamped Japan on the bottom. I love teacups with big yellow roses. But I liked the plate. And then this sort of like platter is also from that thrift store. This one was $2. Stamped Austria. Just love the floral design. I think it's really pretty. It does have a chip right here. You can see that, but I'm not going to be reselling this. I'm keeping it, so. And then I found another little bowl. It's a pretty shallow bowl from Goodwill for $0.99. Cents. And once again, I just loved the floral print. I just thought it was really pretty. I'm a sucker for floral plates. Oh, I forgot I have these two as well. These were 99 cents a piece. Love that they're scalloped on the edges. They're just so pretty. I think I'm gonna actually use these in the kitchen or at least one of them. Then I found this amazing scarf or hair scarf. I think it's just a regular scarf, neck scarf. It was $3, but I loved this like 60s, 70s print. Much brighter than anything I would look at or purchase. But I like some of that stuff, so I don't know if I'm ever going to wear this. I might list it on Poshmark or Etsy. I found a vintage parasol at Goodwill for $1.99. Is this bad luck? What's luck for a lady like me? This is so pretty. It's just beautiful. I can't even think of words to describe it because it's so pretty. This reminds me of Melissa from Lacey Enchanted because she loves this like whimsical um, shabby chic stuff. Let's just go ahead and get the padded hangers out of the way. If you're new to my channel, or if this is your first video like this watching, <laughs> or if this is your first time watching one of my videos like this, I collect padded hangers, like specifically pastel vintage ones with pretty prints. So, I found this beige-ish, cream-ish one, um, another baby blue one, just a white bow, and then this one does not have the bow, but I was thinking about just kind of um, DIYing it and adding some stuff. I think these were all 25 cents a piece. And then I got this whole bag for $2.92 at a thrift store. So the more the merrier. These next items I've had for a long time. I just keep forgetting to show them in my hauls. These are gold cherub baby candlestick holders. How cute. Very whimsical. They were... How much were these? These were five dollars a piece. No way. I paid five bucks a piece for these. Wouldn't do that now. I don't know what I was thinking that day because I remember going early in the day 
or earlier in the day and seeing these and then putting them back. And then I came home and couldn't stop thinking about them. So I made Garrett drive me back and I got them. So those are by a company called Teleflora, made in China. So not vintage, but I just thought they were really pretty. I'm going to redo my bedroom soon, hopefully. So I think these are going to go in there because I have a lot of gold pieces. So is this not cute? I found this vintage Jergens lotion and it's super clean, was in really good condition. I got this for $4. I love the colors and this like milk glass. So like every purchase I thought, why not? I found this adorable little mud pie box. This was 75 cents. These are like gift sets that would hold, mine doesn't have anything in it, but they would have like little trinkets or ornaments or just little like porcelain gift sets, you know, probably sold them in like a gift shop in like the hospital or something. And you would give it to the person like this. But I love the box because A, it's baby blue, and then it has a little cherub right here. So I couldn't leave that behind. Okay, I'm about to show you my, one of my favorite finds from this haul. These little vintage ballerina prints still in the bag. This one says Rose Fairy. She is beautiful. And then this baby blue one says Princess Aurora. I cannot wait to hang these up in this room. They were a dollar a piece. And I'm obsessed with them. Definitely the star of the show in this video. I also got this little rose print. They're printed on like, you know, a thicker paper. I have a few clothing pieces, really cute girly clothing pieces. This is from The Goodwill by the brand Olivia Oliviacious, okay? It is a size large, which is too big for me, but I feel like I can make it work. It still has the tag on it, and I just love this color. Look at the sleeves. They like flare out and then have a little tie. So I think the shirts at Goodwill are, are $5.99, and knowing me, it was probably uh, at least 25% off. I don't like to buy clothes unless they're discounted. I feel like some of them are overpriced. And I found another periwinkle um, clothing item. It's actually a dress. It goes about midi length to the floor. This is also from Goodwill. I think I paid $7.99, whatever their dresses are. And then it ties in the back right here so you can kind of cinch it to your waist. It's by the brand Tabby California, just in case you fall in love with it. Maybe you can find one. It does have these kind of like shoulder pad it's just like really thick material sewn in. So I'm gonna cut those out cause I don't need to accentuate my broad shoulders. Anyways, I thought this was so beautiful. It's way too hot here in Texas to wear it. So I'll have to wait till probably next spring. It looks exactly like something my mother would have been wearing in the early 90s um, when I was a child. So I found this really beautiful vintage Vassaret half slip. It has a beautiful little eyelet detail on the bottom. Isn't that so pretty? So I actually have been wearing these a lot, like um, my longer slips for under dresses. I need to find a half slip that goes all the way up, but I'll probably keep this for myself and wear it under some clothes. Because things these days, like, are you trying to be naked? I don't get it. By the brand Vassaret. This is a size medium. Um, I think this was $1.99. Well, this I think is so beautiful. Kind of Scream Queens. Um, it's so beautiful. I love purple. I think this may be real fur, which I'm not super happy about, but too late now. Um, this is a size medium. Perfect for me. Isn't this so pretty? No stains, nothing. I can't wait to wear this in the winter time. And then the last clothing kind of themed item is this adorable vintage apron. Let me put it on. But I love this heart right here. It's so cute. And then... Um, when you tie it, it like flares out like a flare skirt. You tie it like this, and then I need to tie it tighter up here, but it's so cute, like a little dress. It doesn't have a brand sewn into it, so I'm assuming that it is handmade. I think I paid $3 or so of the blue pattern. It's like this tiny little blue floral pattern. I just think it's adorable. Next up, I got this cute little vintage hat from a online auction. I think it was $3 but it's in very good condition, no stains, rips, nothing. I loved the little silky satiny piece right here in the bow. So when I have my display of hats somewhere else in this room, that's where she'll be. Okay, so the last bunch of items are from an estate sale. I found this beautiful little handkerchief. I love this kind of Pepto-Bismol baby pink color. This was a dollar. I just think it's so pretty. 
There's this little Avon little lamb perfume. I thought the box was really pretty. And then the bottle is this little sheep. Tell me, doesn't this look like a llama? I think he looks like a llama. But I thought this was really adorable. I have no idea how much they charged me for it. And then I wanted this box the first day that I went, but I, at the time, didn't want to pay $5. I had other things I wanted to get. So it was still there on Sunday, so I got it for $2.50. Is this not so pretty? I'm surprised by how good of condition it's in. Like, look at the inside. Very clean. Like, how did nobody else pick this up? Because it's so beautiful to me. The last item is this Jimungo hat box. We all know I can't leave a good hat box behind. This one is a little damaged right here. Um, it's like this oval shape too, which is kind of weird, awkward. But this thing is huge. Like I said, I have no idea how much she charged me for, but my total wasn't high at all because I had gotten other stuff. Um, so yeah, I have a bunch of hat boxes up here. Well, not a bunch, but some. So I'll probably shove it up there. I just love that look of them all stacked really high together in the different patterns and stuff, so. And I almost forgot. This is from that estate sale as well. This was $10. This is so cute. I've already washed it. Um, it's actually a twin size little quilt, but I just thought this would be cool if someone, like, stays the night or if I'm cold and I just want to use it. I don't know. But I love this print. It reminds me of, like, a 60s Barbie print. Isn't it so pretty? So I had to get that, too. She had a bunch of quilts, but... This one just screamed to me. So spring and pastel, I love it. So that's everything I have to share with you for this haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Be sure to like the video if you did and let me know what your favorite item was. Subscribe if you want to join the family. I post thrift hauls all the time and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!